Hello everyone, in this video I would like you to show how to create animated uh, expandable card with React Native Reanimated Library. So basically showcase here is the list of items. When we press on it, it will show us different uh, description. Basically random generated text. And you see it's nicely animated, open and close. So let's start. Let's go to our template uh, branch. So basically in our template we have the flat list. And our list item we will, we will work in this file basically. So we have touchable without feedback and on press we change the expanded boolean flag. So basically, yeah, let's reload it. When we press on it, our description show or hide depending on the flag. First of all, we would like to install React Native Reanimated Library. So let's go to the expo documentation. If you search for reanimated, there is the installation section. And we need to do expo install. Also, we need add plugins to our Babel config JS. This is done. And we need to do npx npx expo start clear after we change our Babel config. So let's do this. And yeah, we need to close previous one. I think this is it. So we stop in and run npx expo start clear. And let's just to be sure, let's restart our expo app as well. So the app is running and I think reanimated library works as expected. We will see in the few minutes. So now let's replace our render of uh, description logic. So let's first of all wrap it with animated view. And we need import animated from React Native Reanimated library. And you see now all the cards is expanded because we don't have this expand logic anymore. So let's start create it. And first of all, we need to add animated style with use animated style from reanimated library and just for start return the empty object and apply it to our animated view styles okay we're good and what we can do here, we can uh, have some animated heat depending on the expanded value, our flag. And we can animate it uh, with timing 
for example to value 100 and to value 0 and height will be equal animated height let's take a look and you see on press it nicely change the height of our item items and basically what we want but the problem our height is different for each item and it's not 100 and it's not some fixed value so what we can do we can get the height of our content from on layout callback of view property uh, let's implement on layout function const and layout um, this is basically type we copied from the source and we also need to import it from react native uh, what else we need yeah let's have some state to save this uh, calculated height and let's extract um, layout height from the event it's basically event native event layout height so if our layout height more than zero and layout Height not equal height. Yeah, just basically to prevent unnecessary re renders. So let's set the height as our layout height. All right, now we can replace this with timing with our height value. and you see it's not working the problem is here that the value on, on layout is zero but we can fix it with uh, style uh, and have it position absolute so our parent view styles won't affect the height of our children view let's do this position absolute all right and you see immediately our, our expanded is expanded and you also see uh, when it collapses it some text because it's absolute we can easily fix it with overflow hidden prop in parent styles so overflow hidden and you see now it's not visible when it's collapsed and it's basically what we needed what else we can do we can move our collapsible logic to the separate reusable component so it's easy to apply to a different component in your application. So let's quickly do this. Basically, let's move this part to the new component. Let's name it collapsible container return our animated and measured container text we will 
backdoor list item and here we will render children okay so collapsible container and our content inside it now we can move every scene we created to our new collapsible container so our own layout and animated style and our height state as well and only thing is missing is expanded and we will pass it as a prop from pair component which will control our state so let's add some types we of course don't need it if you don't use typescript but it's highly recommended but also up to you and you see now okay it's not working and this not working because we haven't passed the state so expanded equal our expanded state and you see once we add the state uh, through the prop it immediately start working and and what you need to make any any component in your app collapsible now just wrap it with collapsible container and pass the boolean flag whether it expanded or collapsed so yeah this is basically it thank you for watching we'll see you in the new videos